Yo, what is going on, everyone in the crypto space? Today, I wanted to go over some FUD that was being spread by Coindesk today on Twitter. They just had a rambling of how XRP is so bad and such a high fee compared to Bitcoin. It's actually the complete opposite. But you may have seen this circulating over Twitter today, so I want to go ahead and clear this up and point that there's really no meaning behind what they're saying. Uh, XRP will continue to thrive, continue to work with some of the largest corporations on Earth, and continue to slowly make their way into the financial sector of the world. So this first one. Coindesk states, Ripple's global head of infrastructure innovation says, XRP is a network asset. It is not issued by anybody. If U.S. President Donald Trump tweets, it affects the dollar. Ripple can tweet all at once. Nothing, nothing's going to happen to that XRP. Sure, XRP movement isn't meant to go off of tweets, Coindesk. Uh, XRP movement is meant to go off of progress and actual utility of the coin and the coin being trialed by some large corporations such as Western Union, MoneyGram, and Qualix. So their next tweet, they go on to say, Julio Farah, which they actually spelled the name wrong, so I can tell you, I can tell you they spent a lot of time on this. Head of blockchain research and development at Santander, we don't believe cryptocurrencies are the answer for liquidity management, including XRP. Well, that, CoinDesk, that's kind of funny how uh, you end the quote there for liquidity management and including XRP, as if the head of blockchain research and development at Santander didn't mean to say for liquidity management or even including XRP for that matter. So they're clearly trying to. Uh, put words in the mouth of the head of blockchain uh, research and development at Santander. It's clearly false information. Santander is a uh, pretty big partner of Ripple, 18th largest bank in the world in terms of assets, and is actually an early investor of Ripple. So for the fact that they cut off the quote and then say for liquidity management, including XRP, I doubt that that person even said that. So Coindesk being completely false, no reasoning behind this. Again, the reason why they're doing this is they're pro-Bitcoin maximalist. And I mean, the masses of wealth that these owners of Coindesk hold is most likely in Bitcoin. And also that Bitcoin is only up 1% today while the alts continue to flourish and Bitcoin dominance keeps going down. And XRP being one of the most highest performing alts today, uh, despite Bitcoin cash. So this next one, Jesse Lund, IBM's global vice president of blockchain and uh, distributed ledger technology markets. The only mainstream blockchain application out there is Bitcoin. Uh, what's funny is that they tweeted this pretty much directly after they made this tweet about Ripple right here. And also IBM uh, stock's been going down uh, ever since 2013. So very credible. So guys, really, I just wanted to point out that whenever you see this Bitcoin propaganda of just hating on other coins, not even just XRP, if they keep hating on other coins and say something's bad, don't listen to them. Like, I don't even care what coin you're in, even if you're in Ripple, uh, Cardano, Ethereum, Litecoin, whatever you're in. If you ever hear media bashing your currency, it's usually false. It, it's it, They're doing that because they have their propaganda. I mean, sometimes my channel, I mean, I kind of bash on Bitcoin because it does hold the market down, but that's a fact. It really, it does hold the market down and uh, prevents the altcoins to flourish as Bitcoin with the slow outdated technology keeps holding down the market. So thank you guys for watching this video. I wanted to clear up some FUD out there today. Don't listen to Coindesk about anything in XRP. Historically, they have been very, very anti XRP and are probably mad that XRP is rising despite Bitcoin being flatlined. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to support the channel. Just crossed 12,000 subs today. Thank you guys so much. Uh, check the link in the description. You want to pick yourself up a legend in OS. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. And remember to not listen to FUD. See you in the next one.